Hey guys, hey, I'm back with another video uh, to update on some TTMs I've sent out. Um, I'm working on consolidating all my commons and those that TTM into my common boxes. So as I go, I've been mailing out to new players that I've never sent to. So each letter that I go through and organize, I pick one player out that I've never sent to and sent back. So I'm starting to see those returns come back in. Um, before I share those, though, I wanted to share a couple, um, well, I'll purchase and a trade. First, my trade that came in from Sports Collectors was an Erasmo Ramirez autograph. He played for the Red Sox in 2019 or 2020. Again, I haven't done enough research. I just know that he played with them. Maybe it was 2020, <clears throat> the year that I didn't follow. Um, so that's another for the Red Sox collection, the all-time collection. One of these days, I'll actually have enough time to get around to recalculating all that. Um, and that was a nice trade. I traded a 1988 Topps West Gardner for it. Um, and I'm glad to have that in the collection. That's a new autograph for me. And then I made an eBay purchase. A George Brett 1975 rookie card. It is not in the best condition, but I got it for fairly cheap. Uh, these are going for a lot more than I thought that I'd have to pay, generally. I mean, you're looking at a raw card around $60. Um, and it's kind of skyrocketed over the last year and a half since all of the cards are skyrocketing so you can see there's a mark up there the corners kind of suck this corner is not great but i have a george brett rookie card did not have that before um, i now have all of the key rookie cards of the 75 set should i put that together uh, the jim rice is signed but who cares it could be a partially signed set so if i do decide ever to go for this complete set i now have all the rookie cards i have rice i have carter i have yount i have brett and i have keith hernandez and I think that's it. Fred Lynn, I guess. I have a really beat up one. So I guess maybe I should get his. But otherwise, that was a big pickup. I was excited to get that. Um, I paid $30 for it, which you might say, that's a lot for a card that beat up. But really, if you watch the prices of it, it's as cheap as you're going to find. You're not going to get one for much cheaper. Um, and I did a buy it now offer of 30 <clears throat> and the seller took it. But now we got some TTMs, I think five. So we'll get into those. Um, again, I don't know who they are. First one is Barry Foote. So that's, he signed one, two, three, four of my cards. I might have sent five, I don't remember. But he sent, signed four of them nicely. Um, this is one that I've been sitting on for a while. I've had the letter and I had the envelope addressed and I was just waiting to get going with my um, common project. And pull out all the cards that I had. So I was able to get one. Was this a 81 Fleer? 81 Tops. 82 Tops with the Yankees. And a 78 Tops with the Phillies. Um, so I had that ready to go probably since July or something. Um, and just haven't gotten around to doing this massive project of organizing the cards. I'm going to break you off. As you can see, I have all those cards all those stacks. The st giant stack on the left is Hall of Famers. I don't know what to do with that. But all the smaller stacks on the right is the letters. There's my TTM box. And finally got through, pulled all the foot cards out because I know I had a letter ready to go and send it. So that's nice to get back. And number two of the week, the letter is returned to me with some common, I mean, some cards peeking inside. Nate Oliver. Signed the 68 and the 65. I love how these cards looked. I think I have both of these already. Um, but in my Sport Lot Spy, I know he signs. I love the look of them. It had been a while since I had sent to him. So I said, you know what? I'm buying them cheap again. The index cards came back unsigned. That's fine. I use the unsigned ones. They sometimes come back stained um, for shipping cards. And no, I did not. Oh, so he didn't get a chance. I I said, you, I, I don't think you got a chance to play in the 63 and 65 World Series, but did you still receive a World Series share and or championship ring? And no, he did not, which kind of stinks because I know at least teams now, maybe it's different just because everyone in baseball is a millionaire, um, are very liberal with that. So that kind of stinks for Nate Oliver that he didn't get a World Series share. That stinks. Maybe next time I will send a little donation to him. Um, third up in the TTM ranks is John Stuper, super duper Stuper. Um, he was big in the 1982 World Series and the leading up to that. Um, if we look at his year, he was nine and seven that year, but I think he pitched a complete game and 
maybe game seven. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and he was in the same boat as Barry Foote. I had both their letters ready to go and envelopes addressed. And um, just had to wait till I could pull out the commons because I know he had stuff like these three. I had the 84 ready. And I found these in my common boxes. So he signed the 84, the 83, 84 Fleer, set that I just absolutely love. One day maybe I should go for the complete set. Not signed, just have the set. And the 83 Fleer. We're going to showcase the 84 Fleer. Um, someone I've sent to in the past a while ago. Um, and again, just needed his common cards. Up again is Joe Amalfitano. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. More next cards to send. And he signed his two TCMA cards from my Sport Lots purchase. Mm, a slight smudging on them, but not bad. And actually, they look really good. So I have them on the Cubs and the Giants. This looks like when he was coaching. Um, interesting fact about him is that he is a member, or was a member of the 1954 Giants uh, World Series Championship team. He might be the only living member left, other than Mays, of course. Um, it's certainly the only one that signs. Um, and he signs very regularly. He's very generous. Um, and when I saw those on Sport Lots with the seller I was buying, stuff for Nate Oliver and all the others you've seen come back, I jumped on those too, um, which is good. And then the last one this, this time around, there's one more in there. I don't know if you know who it is, but that's Dick Kalmus. He sent his two index cards and a very miscut, 64 tops card which generally i love the this picture um again i love the 60s cards they just look so cool the dodgers the the uh mets i just think they look awesome um this one was miscut i had it in a lot and i accidentally wrote a second letter because i would forgot that i wrote a first so i actually have another letter written to him so should i ever want to send to him or come across a card again i've got one ready to go so that is my week or last couple weeks in autographs. Um, I'll be getting more as we go. Um, no newbies, just the Rasmo Ramirez. So I've gotten all these guys before, but glad to add them on new cards. Um, vintage is always good. And then Mr. Amalfitano is getting up in age. So, you know, I figured send to him when I found the cards that I could use. Um, that's it. That's my week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. No bells and whistles, just here's the autographs that I add to my collection. Oh, and a cool rookie card. Uh, I hope you guys take care, stay safe, have a little fun, keep collecting.